So here I am, this is gonna be my first ECU cloning out here in Florida. G-Box 3 was used. Pretty straightforward setup, five wires. I've written the ECU, I've done the backup coding. The activation is not complete. I'll have to go and install this in the car and do the activation from there. But this is uh, this table is working out perfect. I got plenty of room back here to do what I need to do. Sit on my seat, make it happen. So I'm gonna go inside and I'm gonna complete this uh, this clone. So car is on, ECU is in, and we've been able to personalize it. Now let's go back and let's read the ECU information and let's see if we got yeses on all those four prompts. Still doesn't show it. So because the Autel could not write the VIN, I had to reinstall the original uh, ECU, back up the SCN coding, reinstall the clone module, and write the uh, that data back. So it looks like we're good. Now what I really want to do is escape out of here. And then re research this vehicle and see if the VIN now matches. It does not match. So because Autel sucks, I had to bring it out the, uh, the Flex Magic Motorsports. You're using two more wires. What I did is I just teed them into a connector like so. I've read all of my information and I'm gonna connect to the clone module and I'm gonna write this information. So everything has been uh, cloned over, everything has been successful, and so now we're gonna get this back into the car. So we're looking good. It uh, properly identified the vehicle after using the flex tool. So now we're gonna go in and do our initializations. Clicking okay. So this is good for me to know. Octel is not gonna do it. The VVDI, the X-Horse tool, is not gonna do it either. It has a very limited uh, range of ECUs that it'll do. And that's helpful for me because uh, I quoted this gentleman 250 to do this cloning, thinking that the Octel, which is a cheap tool, easy to, to go out and purchase, had I known that the flex tool was gonna be what was gonna fix it, I'd have likely charged a minimum of $450 because then I've got to go through here and I've got to now work with uh, the control module doing these after, after replacement uh, measures, which also takes time. So because that flex uh, tool is, I've got over 8,000 into it, plus uh, almost 2,000 in after accessories and little benches. Um, yeah, so the price goes up. So here we go through here. Let's see what kind of faults we got. Interesting. I'm gonna delete these, they're active, so. No faults there, okay, that's good. So let's do our teach-ins. So let's go into the ME one because it should cover several of those that were just shown. Oh, God damn it. Yeah, so this is gonna do several of them for us in here. We'll set all those and we'll continue. Oh, 
awesome okay we should be all good there let's go with special procedures this shouldn't be necessary it should have already been uh, loaded with a file so let's start it up so we're running Okay, so this is what I ran into before. The VIN wasn't matching, and so now we're looking good. So we want to activate this ECU. So we're good. We're good. So I'm happy with that. So again, I'll piece these videos together. That activation procedure was in the emo uh, data. So I can go back into, let's see. Well, I guess it's not gonna let me. So anyway, all of those functions pushed through. However, there was no, um, it didn't match, nothing matched. I couldn't write the VIN, I couldn't activate it. So, hence I was, I was kind of screwed. But uh, we're looking good here, the car runs, and we'll put this one behind us.